Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from shouldigetit.com. This is the brand new 2021 Lexus IS 350. So this is the top of the line IS here in rear wheel drive that we have for the United States. As you can see on the back, we have the new diffuser setup. We have the new tail light that runs all the way across. And then we have the carbon fiber spoiler on this one. What I wanna point out on the exterior first that you might not have seen in other videos, we have, of course have a backup camera here, but we also have cameras that are on the side mirrors here. So we have it on the left and the right side. And we also have a camera right up front on top of the Lexus emblem here on the grill. And of course we have the very aggressive looking grill. We have the hood bulges on both sides, but let's get into the interior because this is a POV driving video. We're out here with a beautiful sunrise in Los Angeles, California. And I want to show you what this car is like to drive. So here we are in the interior. I'm going to drop the key into the cup holder, start the car. There we go, pretty tame. You got your regular Lexus seatbelt off beeps, your little infotainment startup there. And what I like about the car is that it starts in the mode you last left it in. So I left it with the heated seat on too. I left it in sport mode. And so I'm just gonna put it straight into sport plus here by moving the shifter all the way to the right side. Then if I want it in eco, I go left. If I want my custom mode, I can go to the right. But we're gonna do that. And then the coolest thing is that if you press this button, it's gonna move the gauge cluster from the middle to the right side. We have a bunch of screens here. I'm gonna leave it in the middle just so I have fun driving mode. See, we got this red interior. You either love it or hate it. You have the new infotainment system with a touch screen now, and it also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But let's get straight into driving the car. We're gonna pop it into drive, wait for this Hyundai to pass us, and take it on the road. Somebody in the IS Freaks Facebook group was asking me if it will do a burnout. So I'll turn traction control off. I have it in Sport S Plus mode here. So there's regular Sport. Here we have Sport Plus, traction control turned off. I'm just gonna mash the throttle all the way down past the little kick pedal and see if the rear spins a little bit. Just a tiny bit. But there you go. So that should give you a good sense of what the sound is like from the V6 that we have here. Again, no turbos, so you're getting pretty linear power and it definitely does have decent power. So when I made the IS350 preview video, I was a little bit thrown off that they didn't upgrade the powertrain or rather the drivetrain almost at all, but this car definitely has enough torque, it has enough power, and this is a comfortable sedan that can also be sporty. This is not a sports car that can also be comfortable and practical. This is a sedan that can also be sporty when you want it, and this is the POV drive happening right now. So let me show you guys some cool things about the car that I've noticed. So if you hit this button here, you can move your gauges over to the side. So the entire cluster moves. We have our lane keep and assist there. We can have our audio settings, navigation, things of that sort. Just tap that button. It goes back. If you switch the drive selector to normal mode, you can see that the gauge has changed there. We tap down, we have our customized mode. And then if we go to the right, we have Sport S mode. Don't know why they call it Sport S. Then if we switch one more time, the gauges will switch and it will be in Sport S Plus. So this is the most aggressive of the modes. It changes the throttle mapping. It also changes the steering weight. And it's interesting because the steering still feels pretty light. So. It's not super responsive. It is definitely responsive steering. I mean, you can see right here, it's not the most direct thing ever, but the steering weight changes. It feels a little bit light in the Sport Plus mode. You can see that if I put it into like eco mode, now the steering is just extremely light and we have a good amount of body roll going on. Super quick ad plug. This video is brought to you by audible.com. If you want to help support the channel, check out audible.com using the link below. Whenever you sign up, it helps me get a little bit of gas money. And if you want to check out the main channel, it's youtube.com slash should I get it. Now back to the video. So I'll put it back in Sport S Plus. So this is a very comfortable and good looking car. Uh, I'm a fan of it. The back end looks kind of like the Supra a little bit. It's got some very defined lines. I love the hip lines. We have this interesting camera system from those front and side cameras that I showed you. So here we have a top view of the car. If I tap the camera button here, we can have a front view and an overhead. So here's the power again. And it almost sounds like a supercharger whine. It's a very interesting note. The power is very linear, the sound is very linear, but it's not like an exhaust note or grumble. It's not aggressive. It's just kind of this louder and louder progression of whine and not in a bad way. It just sounds very supercharger, which I found interesting. And the power comes on nicely. Uh, it's actually nice that there's not like a torque hit from turbos. Not that there's 
that happening in a lot of the cars, but you do have to kind of rev it out to get that power. Now, if you want to see what the shifting is like, I'll hit the paddle here. You can feel almost nothing when it shifts, which is nice, but you can sense that there's a time lag. So again, I'll go down in the second gear. You could hear it that it took, you know, a little bit longer than it does with a PDK or DSG transmission that's available in some of the competing cars. So let's talk about the brakes as well. I'm going to get towards the straight. We're actually coming up towards the light. You can feel, you can feel, I can feel I'm pushing the brakes down pretty hard. So to stop right here, I'm about 80% on the brakes there. So the brakes feel soft and the car came to kind of a soft stop from that. And that again goes back to the comfort. You can tell that this car is made for comfort, for going out on dates, for going on road trips, for taking your family and friends out. And it's a very, linear, I guess that's my keyword for this car, progression into the braking zone. So you're never gonna have braking where you come up to a red light and you kind of like, you know, herky jerk to it. It's all going to be very smooth and fluid. So you can see right now I'm pretty soft on the brakes, pushing into them, and you'll see that the car just kind of comes to a nice smooth stop. And imagine if you were driving on a long road trip, you had a friend with you sitting shotgun, they would not wake up from you hitting the brakes because the car doesn't stop and then do a little jerk. It just kind of comes to a very nice little uh, opposite of crescendo, whatever you would call that. So I'm a fan of the IS350. I think this is a great daily car. It is a very comfortable, good looking car that can be sporty so that if you have mountains on your road trip or your commute, you can have some fun in them. And also if you're just going from red light to red light and you want to put your foot down and hear that supercharger wine type sound even though this is a naturally aspirated v6 then you can enjoy that as well it's very comfortable in the eco mode it's very quiet and then of course we have a lot of creature comfort settings so we have heated seats heated steering wheel air conditioned seats very light steering in eco mode we have decent fuel efficiency and also the sound system in here is amazing you guys i sat in this car for about 10 minutes last night after I got home and just listened to music. The Mark Levinson sound system, I don't know if it's an option or it's standard. If you are getting this car, you should get the sound system. It is probably the best sound system I've heard in any car in the last year. I've been in a lot of cars. Granted, a lot of those cars, I haven't listened to the sound systems at all uh, for the higher end sports cars, but this thing has an amazing sound system. The seats are very comfortable. The red, you either love or hate, but I appreciate you watching this video. I will have a full review, a more in-depth tour of this car on the channel later on. For now, I'm gonna kick it into sport mode, enjoy my drive home, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.